Hello everyone, my name is Rob and I'm back with the Battle for Middle Earth Shadow and Flame mod. This time we're actually going to be completing Amon Hen. So, yeah, this took a lot of effort. So, first thing I did, swap the uh, the Hobbits onto stones. This is post-match, so uh, this is how I beat it. I grouped up all these over here for Gandalf the Wizard Blast, and then you move them down here. Reason being is that you can group them up pretty efficiently, and you can protect the other three while Aragorn tanks a lot of damage. As you can see, Aragorn and uh, Gandalf are both high leveled, so Frodo and Sam, I just need them as high as possible. Aragorn especially to get Elendil and the Hobbits so that they can do more damage to the Urukai. Gandalf's uh, taking out those archers pretty nicely. Aragorn has taken some damage, but he is such a tank that you can rely on him. This is the only way I've found to do it. You've got to move them down here. There's no other place on the map it works. This because it just really restricts them. So they've been scared off. We can finish off the last of these ones. And then we can start dealing with uh, the next ones. Luckily I have Wizard Blast here, which is how we uh, we win this, basically. As Gandalf has gone and killed half of them right there, and that's how you do it. It's honestly not the easiest thing to, uh, to beat. And it took a lot of trial and error for me to finally figure out how to do this. The rest of the mission is easy, by comparison. Just surviving this opening phase is difficult, because... In the past, you just used the Gandalf and Aragorn doing their thing, killing off all the Urukai with Sam and Frodo standing nearby, basically. Can't do that here. Anyway, with that, we've unlocked Legolas and Gimli, who are, as you can see, pretty heavily surrounded. Um, still putting in a lot of work, but they need help. Legolas leveled up there, which is really helpful. So I'll start moving these guys this way. There are the two trolls still that are blocking the way. But I didn't notice straight away that I'd gotten Legolas and Gimli. And Gimli's getting absolutely wrecked right here. So I was moving these guys down to help. But then I noticed that um, Frodo and Sam were getting shot. So I started focusing more on them and ignored Legolas and Gimli. Which um, proved to be fatal for Gimli. By the time I'd recognised it, it was kind of too late. Because I was too busy protecting Frodo and Sam. So I'd move Legolas back. And it's a close run thing. But i just get him out of there in time to heal him up and uh, save him from death. Now I have to worry about Frodo and Sam who are getting uh, whacked by Urukai, but it's okay. Got them behind the lines now. We've got Gandalf uh, and Aragorn in the front line with Legolas in the back providing some range support. Gandalf goes over Wizard Blast again to uh, take out a bunch of them. He is invaluable during this. The amount of Urukai he can kill is absolutely insane. Now, we only have got five members at this point. Losing Gimli is rough because he is a good tank, but that's on me. I wasn't paying attention. I was so worried about just seeing some Urukai shooting Frodo and Sam in the back that uh, kind of ignored everything else. Right, so this phase is pretty much done. Something interesting is the wargs don't spawn, I believe, on this. So I start moving this way. Predicting the wargs to spawn, but actually just goes to Boromir, who's over here getting absolutely obliterated. Like, all of these Urukai are about to start shooting the ever-loving shit out of Boromir. So, to play it like I normally do, I try moving everyone over there. Apart from Legolas, who I use to attack moves, so he can take down the crossbowmen. Aragorn gets through, as does Gandalf. But then he gets drawn back. Boromir is just too low on health. I cannot save him in time. It just isn't possible. Gandalf is then too far forward, unfortunately, because of that. And I stun, and I use his uh, lightning sword here to take out some Urukai. But uh, he's a little isolated up there. I try getting Aragorn there, but Legolas is dealing with all these crossbowmen, and Frodo and Sam can't front line. So Gandalf actually moves forward without me telling him to, which is wonderful. And he just gets shot to ribbons. Elendil is not enough to save Gandalf, and he is eventually shot in the back and killed. Right here. Now that obviously makes things a lot tougher. I'm now down to four heroes, two of which are hobbits. It's looking rough. It is looking rough. The main thing is keeping Frodo and Sam mostly protected, while Aragorn tanks and Legolas... Honestly, Legolas is the damage here. He's just absolutely sweeping through these Urukai. Sam is very 
sort of far forward considering he's not being hit, which is pretty funny. Uh, Frodo's getting shot, but he seems to be relatively tanky, surprisingly. I get uh, Aragorn swinging quick. I know that the only way I'm going to do this from here on is if I have them full health and have my powers to heal them. So I'm kind of at this point not too worried about them taking damage here because I'm just going to hold off until they're healed. But we have managed to survive through this phase. Next one was obviously going to be a lot harder. There was going to be Urukai crossbowmen, berserkers, and those three trolls. Now, normally that's not a problem, but normally you've got Gimli and Gandalf there at the very least, and usually Boromir too. It's very rare that Boromir dies for me. It's just in this one. He was too far away. He was really low-leveled as well. Boromir had struggled to level up because I focused more on Aragorn and Gandalf to get past that first phase. So he'd kind of suffered for it. This was actually really scary here because Lurtz actually autoed onto Sam. And Sam nearly got absolutely wrecked. Luckily, uh, I just managed to get him in time so Legolas can basically uh, shoot the ever-loving crap out of him. But yeah, that was that was rough, getting to this point. Having only these four left, I am lucky in the sense that while Gandalf would probably be slightly better to have than Legolas, it's only slightly. Aragorn is a very good tank, he can heal as well. And Legolas, while he doesn't have Wizard Blast, he shoots out incredibly quick and just takes down enemies in seconds. So, it's honestly not a bad trade. Like I say, Gandalf would probably be a little bit better. But, if I had to lose heroes, Gimli would be one of them. And Boromir would certainly be one. Right, now I'm just waiting for Sam to heal up. After that, I will take a shot again to the boat. Sam's pretty much healed, so I actually go for it now. I just uh, rely on Aragorn frontlining enough. And yeah, that's a lot of crossbowmen. The The answer to this mod in when they ask to make it more difficult is put a crap load of people with ranged weapons in there. <coughs> that, should, uh, that should do the trick. Now at this point I know there's no way in hell that if I keep playing like this we're going to live. There's too many crossbowmen, even for the tank that is Aragorn. So I use Elendil to get some space and then I actually back everyone off to try and split up the uh, the Urukai bit. I then start attacking again and I get worried about this troll. Not because of uh, Aragorn but because he was running towards the hobbits initially. Aragorn is taking some punishment here so I do actually uh, run him back a bit. I can't afford for him to die. I really can't. So, I actually play really risky with Legolas in particular here. The Hobbits as well to a degree, but I'm kind of using them to protect Aragorn. I send him forward because he's no longer being targeted. Legolas is taking some of the aggro, and we stun them, so now that uh, now that there's no threat, Aragorn can sort of get stuck in again. The trolls are throwing shit at the Hobbits, which actually really worried me as well. Nearly got Aragorn too, so... Uh, my heal comes back in time though, so that's pretty much guaranteed it. This was really tough. This was really, really tough. But mostly because of the first phase, they need to change it a bit. There's too many archers. That's the problem. You've got 5 million archers and like 10 units of Urukai with swords. The Urukai with swords are no problem because there's so few of them that they get killed quick. But because there's so many archers, you can't... You can't fight that off. Even the tanky characters can't. It's only very clever play that managed to uh, make this doable. And you shouldn't have to really... I'm not saying break the game, but you have to do it in a very, very, very specific way to make it work. So I'm not sure if that's great. I would change a lot of those Urukai archers, certainly in the first phase, into swordsmen. And maybe in the second phase, because Legolas and Gimli got shredded by the archers too. But that's just my opinion. Uh, I love I love doing it. There was a great sense of accomplishment once I finished it. I did this commentary post match because I wanted to just focus. I tried doing a live one and it just didn't work. I died at Legolas and Gimli, I think, because I was basically rushing to try and save them, and uh, Sam got punched in the face by a cave troll, so that didn't end well for him. But anyway, that's how you do Amon Hen. If you find out another strategy to get to get past that first phase, tell me. I'd like to know it. I'd like to see it. But that's the only one I've tried that works. Everything else seems to fail. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed this post-match uh, 
commentary. I don't do it very often, but people tend to like them. So thank you all again, and I'll see you next time. Searches for the hobbits, the flames of battle continue.